Encryption and decryption. Now, encryption is a security measure used to protect data during transmission. The encryption process involves using an encryption key to scramble data packets prior to transmission into an unreadable form, so that if the message is intercepted during transmission, it will be viewed as a series of randomized symbols and make no sense. Encryption is used for transmissions over the internet, particularly when used with the secure sockets layer, SSL protocol. Okay, when that's being used, it's used in conjunction with the hypertext transfer protocol, which is used for data transmission over the internet. So hence, it secures the transmission while the data is being transferred over the internet. And it's evident when you access a website, as if you look at the actual address bar at the top, you will see HTTPS at the beginning of the web address. Okay, so see that, and that's how you ensure that you can see that both those protocols, SSL and HTTP, are both working together and essentially encrypting your data during the transmission. And you'd see this most likely when you access something where you are using your financial details. Now, the other side of encryption is decryption, which is the reverse process of encryption, in which the encryption key is used once again, okay, by the specific security software, okay, and this time it's for the purpose of unscrambling the received encrypted data at the destination, okay, and it's obviously turning that data back into readable form so that a user can understand and comprehend the received data. So let's try to illustrate this process of encryption and decryption. So Let's talk about internet banking, something you may or may not have done before, okay, but it's for financial transactions, okay, with a specific financial provider, okay, between a user and their bank. So, we're talking about this all at the application level of the communication uh, systems framework, okay? So, the first side of it is the source, okay, and that may be a user using their phone to do this financial transaction, and they'll be communicating with the destination, which is some sort of terminal at the bank or server at the bank. So, What's going to happen here in order to encrypt data? Well, firstly, at the source, okay, they're going to enter in their details in order to do this financial transaction. They'll put in their name, BSB number, account number, and likely some sort of number that illustrates what financial transaction they want to take place. $250, we'll say. Before anything happens, okay, because we are still at the application level, and that's where all of this is happening. The encryption takes place now, okay, prior to data transmission. So... We encrypt that data, and as we said, we encrypt it using the SSL protocol, okay? Then, when the data is transmitted, it is just some scrambled gibberish. And you may have seen a file like this before when it hasn't encrypted, uh, decrypted correctly, okay? And you just can't read it and make no sense of it. That's because it's still in an encrypted state. So if anyone intercepts that data during transmission, or if they've hacked your network on purpose, and they're trying to read your data, that's what they're going to see. Now, if the bank sees that, they're going to make no sense of it. So obviously, as we said, we need to then decrypt that data, once again using SSL. Once we decrypt the data, it goes back into readable form, and then the bank can read the data and ensure that it's correct. So I hope this video is giving you an understanding of the encryption and decryption process. Essentially, scrambling data at the application level so that when it is transmitted, it is in an unreadable form, and any hacker or any one else uh, can't read that actual information if they do intercept it. And then the decryption process using the Elvis encryption key again to decrypt that data, put it back into readable form so the destination can read it on their end.